Hey guys, I thought I'd film a video for you about the Raskob carts from Ikea, as I get asked a lot of questions about these every day. So the carts come from Ikea, for those of you don't, who don't know, and I believe they're actually kitchen trolleys. They come in dark grey, teal and white. I actually chose to spray paint mine to mint and pink as they're my favourite colours. I'd had my carts for about a year before I decided to paint them, so when I sprayed they were actually already assembled. The first thing I did was spray them with a white spray paint. That's because I was spraying from a dark colour to a light and it made it a lot easier to then change the colour. The two spray paints I used were Pink Cameo Pink by Plaster Coat and Ocean Mist by Rustoleum. The pink was matte and the mint gloss. You'll probably need two to three cans of each as you really need to do a minimum of three coats on each. I started by spraying all the insides of each tray and then working my way outside. I also had all the wheels wrapped up in newspaper so that they wouldn't get any paint on them. One mistake that I made was not to seal the carts with a top coat of some kind and you can see now that the chip is the paint is actually starting to chip off um, where it's been knocked. It's definitely something that you can learn from so perhaps go to your local hardware store and just ask for some advice on what top coats can be used to protect your spray paint. I swore I'd never fall again. The next question I get asked is about how do I store my Project Life cards. What I've done is I've actually divided them by collection and I cut a large blank Project Life card down to size so that I could kind of create tabs to divide each collection. Then what I've done is I took a container that didn't was a little bit too wide for what I needed it for and I cut it in half. And that way you can actually sit them in so that they fit nice and flush up against the edge of the container. Never be afraid to cut or modify something to work for you. Moving down you'll see that I've done the same thing with my large cards. I store them in just containers. Most of them are from the $2 store and I've customised them in a number of different ways. The first one is blank, the second is actually been wrapped in wrapping paper with a gold foil embellishment and the third I spray painted using the same spray paint that I used on my other cart. It's a super easy way to make sure that everything coordinates in your room. All you need to do is buy a plastic primer and you'll be able to spray any plastic surface. These folders, a lot of people ask me what's in them, it's actually just stickers. I have a serious sticker addiction, it's actually ridiculous. And I've tried to sort them into categories. The first was my Kiki K stickers. This one is for all the stickers I bought in Japan. Actually not all of them, that's a lie, some of them. The third is all my Heidi Swap stickers. Because I think they're really gorgeous and I love using them, especially in my planner. The next category is just all my Made by Alyssa stickers as well. Again, I love to grab these folders out while I'm planning. It's a really easy way, especially if you're going to be planning on the go, you can just grab the whole folder and take it with you. Down the bottom, as you've seen before, I have all my paper pads. This little container was actually from Daiso. I was super happy when I found that. And then again, another one of my spray painted containers. This one has some really random stuff in it. It's that one Thing that doesn't really belong. So I've got in another folder which has got the washi tape books in it and then all my Christmas die cuts because they didn't really fit in my drawers. I have the transfer sheets, I'm not sure what you actually call those but I call them transfer sheets. Some sticker books, these like envelope pocket things from Aldi and some Kmart kind of project life cards as well. So you can see, again, it's just a little bit of a hodgepodge of stuff that didn't really fit in categories. I love storing by category. You'll definitely see that throughout my whole craft room. Moving on up to my pink card, in the top, 
like you've seen in the past, I've got all my Kiki K note paper pads, which again, it's something that I use all the time in my snail mail. These are like a planner pads, setting weekly goals and diets and everything like that. Paper lover books. And if you guys want to see more information on those, I can always film a video on that. And then my small envelopes. And since I bought my envelope punch board, I'm actually reaching for these a lot less. Down from that, I've got these, uh, what are they called? Like containers. These are from Ikea, for those of you who've asked. And you can find them in the kitchen section. Then I've got these large envelopes. Kiki K sticker books, which again I've shown you in another video, so I'm sorry if this is repetitive. And then this container here. So I've got my wood veneer container, which I've shown on Instagram a couple of times now. And then this random box. So I've got my watermelon pencil case with Diamante stickers in it. And then I like to think of these as my 3D embellishments. So it's all the reject shop goodies, um, Aldi goodies, anything that's not uh, flat goes in here. And again, there's some really amazing stuff from the reject shop. So if you're Australian and you haven't been in there, you need to get there because the craft stuff is awesome. Then I've just got a little pocket from Shop Oh So Fawn with all my, what are they called? Enamels or whatever they're called. The bottom one is all of my stickers. Again, all of them, in inverted commas. I have these sticker boxes that I bought from Japan. It's a lot of the Traveller notebook stickers, and I'll be honest, I actually really haven't used them at all since I bought them. Then I've got these typo stickers in a tin, and I actually use those, but mostly to send to my pen pals. And these flaky stickers from Japan, so they're just kind of loose stickers. And then I've got these sticker books, which I bought in Japan, and they were such a good investment. I covered them in just um, scrapbooking paper so that they looked cute. And they're basically just a display folder for your stickers. So again, I've kind of tried to store by category, but again, I find that a little bit challenging. So um, yeah, they're a bit random, and I probably need to reach for these more than I do. I've actually decided this year that I'm not going to buy any craft things for a year. Wish me luck with that. And those last little folders there had just loose stickers in them. So that's a tour and frequently asked questions about my cards. I can honestly answer any questions that you have. So if you do think of more, if I've missed anything, please let me know. Happy to answer them. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Happy crafting, everybody. See you next time.